Hello there. Just admiring how carefully the fade is woven into this place, as cultivated as a palace garden. That's old elven stuff for you. Magic everywhere you look, and also where you don't. I do envy you, Rook. Really? I can only imagine what you got up to as one of the fabled crows of Antiva. Not to mention traveling with Varric. The adventures you've already had. There's also a lot of fighting, bad weather, getting lost, and more fighting. I have been accused of being a romantic. That's romantic? Work was always my excuse not to travel. But now that I've joined you, I'm finally exploring outside Navarra's crypts. Ah, speaking of the necropolis. Yes? I've been meaning to ask how you'd like your body prepared in the event of your death. Just cremate me. I feared that might be your answer. Why? Need the spare parts? I'm always here to discuss proper burial options. <laughs> ah, he's finished the reagent. Please excuse us. Excellent work, Manfred. You're still working? Just finishing some things up. Looks like you're trying to stay awake. Mm, maybe. I... I want to rest, but... I don't want to sleep. It's... It's all... Ugh. I... have dreams now. When I go to sleep, I mean. Dwarves don't dream. We never have. Solus used the dagger to rip the dreams from the Titans. Maybe when I touched it, the dreams came back? It, uh... It's... Unnerving. It's like my mind's telling a story to itself and is really bad at it. You're really not selling this dream thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've had fun dreams, sure, but lately they've been more scary. Right. Nightmares. I've read about them. Usually I'm being chased or hunted. There's something that glows red just out of my sight. And I, I know it's going to get me, but I don't know how I know. You considered having a stiff drink? Or two? <laughs> yeah. You can keep your whiskey. Thanks for the laugh, by the way. Oh, anytime. And now... Huh, I'm gonna get some sleep. And hope the dreams are... safe. Good luck. I can't believe you're asking for a favor as though nothing's happened. What crapped in your bed? Uh, sorry. Didn't know you two were in the middle Rook. of the... Excellent. Come in. Uh, we could use a second sober voice. I'm not drunk. You're drunk. It's a figure of speech. Deep breath, Zemrick. <sighs> Quite right. I should be above this. Above what? I need one of these little needle things to dig some crap out of my armor. Death Mage won't give me one. First, a bone threader is an extremely delicate instrument. Second, it's Emric. 
Tosh. My name is Emric, not Death Mage, not Corpse Guy, not... I won't repeat the rest. What? You are a Death Mage. Why are all my attempts to converse with you met with scorn? What have I done to you, Tash? You talk about corpses too much. It's a rich topic. No, corpses are messed up. They used to have people in them. You make a move like they're alive, but they smell wrong and they move wrong and none of it is okay. Oh. Especially the ones with skin still on them. I figured you two would butt heads at some point. Then I do wish you'd said something. Yeah. Where were you? I don't... You two can't gang up on me. You dragged me into this. Too late. You're here now. I'd no idea necromancy upset you so deeply, Tosh. Uh, quite honestly, I didn't think you feared anything. I don't. But... I could have said it was bugging me. I didn't think you cared what I thought. Of course I do. We're colleagues on this journey. Okay. Sorry I called you a skull f liker Skull liker You two could still learn things together you'd never find out alone. Emric, you clearly find talking about dragons boring. What? How? Who doesn't like dragons? Aren't you curious why Tarsh likes them as much as you like necromancy? The question crossed my mind. And maybe Emric could help demystify magic, Tarsh. Maybe he could share a little. So I know how to deal with walking corpses next time I'm in an old ruin. I'd be happy to. Thought you might be. So, does the fire feel like a part of you? Or, or I don't know, like, like something else inside you? No, it has to be me. Has to? What if it's not? Mm -hmm. How? Sometimes the stone magic feels like something else in me. It's me, but it's not me. You know? You have to feel the magic as part of you. You can't control it till you admit it's yours. Comparing magic? It's nice to have someone else who understands. It's not that different. Fire and stone are just training. Like crows training with daggers. Well, me stabbing someone with daggers isn't magic, though. Neither's what we do. We aren't doing fade crap. There are no demons. You make it sound so easy. You know how many times I set my bed on fire? My mother had to get special sheets. <laughs> You'll get there. Rook's a lucky woman. Yep. Davrin, doing some renovations. Building a trophy cabinet, the figures I'm carving. Good idea. They deserve showing off. Always room for improvement. Trying to get the details right on this figure of Tosh. They'll fight the other monsters, and then oops. Guess that herlock was too much to handle there, Tosh. Time to call a Grey Warden. Really? No. There's no wood in the world strong enough to carve their temper. 
Maybe you could carve the rest of us. Maybe. It might be good to carve the people still around, once this is all over. So, when you're making those carvings, if your leader just happened to look a little taller... I don't measure them to scale, Rook. All right, all right. I'll see you around. Demon's back. I don't think he ever leaves, actually. Then he's acting weird. <sighs> Smells like melon and wood smoke. Hey! No! No! Sit your ass back down. I'll handle this. Maybe make sure the Alluvian room is blocked? Now we get to talk. When demons say they want to talk, that usually means they want to bargain. Lucanis made a deal. He hasn't kept. What deal? Break our chains, kill, escape our prison, and live? Isn't that what happened? No! I want out! I have no idea what you're talking about. I want Lucanis to honor the deal. Tell him, make him. Rook? He was sleepwalking. Spite was sleepwalking. He didn't go anywhere. Nothing happened. I didn't want you to see that. Again. Your pride's gonna get you killed. Or worse. Maybe you're right. You know I'm right. I'm supposed to be a professional. Professional doesn't mean you have to go it alone. Something to think about, I guess. This smells amazing. Does all coffee smell like this? Or just the stuff you make? Coffee has a distinct aroma, if that's what you're asking. Sorry. It was really rare where I grew up. And expensive. Is it really a good idea having another coffee addict around here? It's not really addictive, is it? Tell us, Lucanus. Is it really addictive? You know I have my reasons for drinking it. So, Harding, what do you think? <coughs> it's... Mm, delicious! She hates it. No, no, I don't hate it. It's uh, really nice. Uh, temperature. I won't be upset if you don't like coffee. You really wouldn't. I know, but... Ugh, sorry. It's just this thing I do sometimes. Acting so people will like you? That sounds terrible when you say it like that. I know I don't need to do it. I just do. Yeah, but you shouldn't. Be yourself. Huh. Guess I can't help it. You must have been pretty tiny as a child. Where'd that come from? A tiny dwarven girl in a land of large human farmers. No. Oh. Yeah. I probably learned pretty quick that things worked out better if people liked me. If they agreed with me, or I agreed with them. Some people like cream or sugar in their coffee. Maybe coffee just isn't my thing. 